I teach at martial arts. Uh, El Caballero has a set of skills that uh, I wouldn't want anyone to learn, but they're pretty dangerous and pretty deadly. I'm going to actually let you talk about those. I don't know how to explain what that is. I know one of them has to do with Krav Maga, which is rarely self-defense, but I don't know the rest, so enjoy. Yeah, Kung Fu, Crane Technique, Jiu Jitsu, a little bit, and uh, Krav Maga. Ooh. I know what that is, but it's awesome. I've seen it work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so set me up, set me up. So the first thing you should know about anybody is uh, some people are tougher than other people. So what you want to do is you want to do techniques that have absolutely nothing to do with being tough. They have to do with just how your general body functions. There's a nerve that runs down your leg. Have you guys ever had a dead leg before? Okay. Well, there's a, vein, there's a thing that runs down the side of your leg. And it doesn't take a lot of pressure to actually make someone feel that. Your shin has a dead spot in it. There's a dead spot from halfway down to right where the top of my boot goes. And you don't feel anything at that point that's not going to puncture the skin. So if you can pick what that spot is, and you take your shin and put it on it, after about two or three attempts, the person can't walk anymore because their leg is shooting confusing electrical signals. Example. <laughs> <laughs> that's the same, right? Yeah, you definitely feel it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> three of those, and that's pretty bad. Other thing is, if you look around up here, something called a floating rib. Uh -huh. but, but the good thing about a floating rib is that it's not connected to the other ribs. The reason ribs are hard to break is because they impact. King, 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 nothing happens. The floating one, though, it doesn't impact. So for a little bit of a forward angle from the side, it actually caused the inside of your stomach to be like, <clears throat> you cartilage? It's actually a, uh, well, there's, I don't know if it's a bone or cartilage. I just know in boxing, you cut over like this, you touch it here, yeah. and it causes this little floating rib problem. Turn around. Uh. <laughs> your kidneys. The kidneys function. Okay. See these kidneys? You probably ever heard of someone peeing blood and get hit in the kidneys? Well, I'm not going to stop from the kidneys because that leaves a mark. But I am going to tell you that the, the spot is right here, and he's told me personally that if you want to punch him in the kidneys at any point during the day, that he's okay with that. <laughs> Turn back around. Different kind of knockout. So if your head is turned all the way to here, once it turns past the natural point, your body shuts itself off so your head will relax so that you don't break your own neck. So in order to knock someone out, all you really have to do is turn their head to here and then just touch slap them, and the dude will get knocked out if it goes past the point. Do you, get, do you see what I mean? That's an electrical knockout. A Mike Tyson type style knockout is a little different. That's when your brain slams against the side of your skull, causing your body to shut off and land the prone position. <laughs> the best way to do that is to find the center of mass of where their head pivots. People get confused. You would think center mass is temporal. That, that's what's going to cause the brain, but it doesn't actually give you the best possible change. You have to be pretty accurate. The swivel is actually the jawline. It's right between the ear and the jaw right here. So if you hit this and you watch his eyes then look forward, and you watch, you watch his eyes right here, it's actually hard to trace where you're going. And it uh, will give you a semi-weird feeling if you hit it correctly. <laughs> if you were to stalk him in that spot, the swivel turns, the head hits the side of the frame, the dude goes down. The other thing is this right here. This is the spine. Don't attack the spine so you can kill people. Pretty simple. Any attack to the spine is good. There's a little notch right here. That one right there. That's the money spot. If you can hit anything on that, it doesn't have a good chance of deflecting the impact. What's up, Jimmy? And uh, that'll, that'll hurt right there. It's pretty terrible. Coming back around, the last one, and this is one of my personal favorites. I call it the cheese grater. I'm not going to do this to you because this will really hurt you. Okay. You're, in a, you're in a situation where you can't get out. You're either forward or backward. It doesn't matter. If you can lift your foot up, there's an arch in the side of your foot. There's two options. You as the, as the attacker are in a situation. No, 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 no. So you would be the attacker, given how dangerous and mean and rude you've been the entire thing. So now I step like this, 14 pounds of pressure will break the bone out of the top of the foot towards the bottom. And it doesn't matter how tough it is, because you can just run away. And that's the best way to win most fights. Second step, move up here to the shin and push down. It'll actually peel the front of the skin off his leg. It's pretty awesome. It exposes a lot of skin. The nerves are there. It's really disgusting. Um, I haven't personally tried that one, but it's on my list of to do. Um, <laughs> Last thing, kneecap shot. This is only if you mean business. People get confused and try to kneecap people forward. Uh, I don't think watch football. People hyper extend their knees all the time. All right? It's not as often as you'd imagine. The best way to get a kneecap is from the side. No one's knees bend sideways unless you're in that really, really terrible alien movie called The Arrival. So if you can come up on something like this, take your heel out and kick this way. That's the, you want to come from an angle that way. The knee doesn't even bend that way. It'll break his knee. Does anyone have a knee they want me to try on them in particular? Armbar? What's up? Armbar? Armbars are not effective on the streets. Actually, I, I got my nose broken doing an armbar. Because once you get the guy on the ground, they're hoping to just comes up and steps on your face. Strong learning curve. Sam, 
think I think uh, I think I stole ninety percent of this stuff. Oh no no, no I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. It's awesome. <laughs> any, any other questions? Oh, one 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 more question. We have time for one more question, guys. What?